Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey, and today we are going to be working on our river mouth over here on Honeydew. Honeydew is my 90 day challenge island. I am making it in a Halloween theme. The 90 day challenge was for no treasure islands and all of the DIYs and all of those things had to be gotten the good old fashioned way. We are able to send friends one or to one item a day from the nook miles um shop from like nook shopping yeah words hi so from nook shopping you can send your friends a one item a day otherwise um it is entirely vanilla no treasure islands and no help in any other way and I've actually been having a lot of fun with this challenge. Uh, it's been a really fun time just playing the game the good old fashioned way. It really was a lot of fun. I had a great time in the beginning, especially with my friends before they gave up on the challenge because I have a lot of friends who give up on challenges. And for me personally, I am a chronic finisher, so I will finish the challenge personally, but it was nice to play with a lot of friends and I do still have friends that are doing the challenge for anyone who took up the challenge. I will be touring their islands on October 20th on stream and hopefully um, we can all see exactly how everyone's islands turned out and hopefully mine will be finished. But if not, I will show you what I've done up until that point since my building is mostly done on stream. So this is also my rock garden on the river mouth and I'm really loving the way it went. It turned out it took forever to spawn the rocks in. I did save you guys the drama of that because I already made a rock garden not too long ago for Honeyland with you guys and I don't think anyone needed to see the process again. Uh, we all know how it is, right? You cover your island in mannequins from uh, top to finish. You make mannequin core. You spawn in your rocks and then you terraform around it. And that's exactly what I did. I had most of the area terraformed and I, except for the bushes and the water on the bottom. And then I just terraformed the water around the bottom. And that's pretty much how it went. And this area, I had accidentally grown purple tulips. I didn't mean to. The flowers on this island were supposed to just be black and orange with some purple roses because the roses I feel like are very dark and gothic and I just kind of wanted to use only the black roses. But these purple tulips spouted up um, from the orange tulips and I couldn't not use them because as you guys know, making hybrids is a whole thing. It's very hard to do. It's not the easiest thing in the world. So I wanted to go ahead and use these tulips and I figured what better place than this river mouth right here with a purple glowing moss pond in the middle. And it just seemed like a perfect place to put the purple tulips. And I really love the way it came out, especially at night. This island will be saved at night. It's going to be a um, Halloween night themed island and I don't know I just used all the glowing items here and all of the DIYs that I've acquired and man some of these DIYs have been a real challenge to get the decoy duck that was no joke it took me inviting smug campsite villager over and over and over again to get the decoy duck at one point I had three smugs on my island and I still couldn't get that that DIY so it was it was probably the biggest challenge of the island and i just want to fin it fill this space up with stone and glowing items i love the way those look in the evening time i think it's going to be really nice on this particular area i did pull out the stone lantern because i had the diy and i figured why not um unfortunately when things are at the angle that i was at you have to actually stand directly to the side or in front you couldn't I couldn't place it diagonally, so I had to play with the terraforming in order to do that. Um, the same with this area right here to put the rock in. Um, but, you know, this area, I do, I really appreciate the way it came out. It's really fun and really nice for me, and um, I really enjoy it. I thought the rock statue was going to go perfectly over here. I played around with using the mossy one, but the mossy one doesn't really fit very well on this island. Although 
it might at nighttime and I didn't try it at night so I probably should have done that but now it's too late because it's way down there and there's no way I'm gonna go down there and try and pick that up and make another one because that just seems like a lot of work and we're not gonna do that we're I'm very much one of those people that even if I second guess myself if it is if it's too deep I will leave it there I am not I'm not going to redo an entire area just because I overthought myself out of a hole I build it I move on y'all when it comes down to it when you finish your islands you're not gonna get mad at yourself over one single area at the end of it you're gonna be happy and proud that you finished your island don't don't overstress yourself don't overthink yourself don't give yourself burnout over it it's not worth it just just do what feels good to you at the time and if you want to make adjustments as you go along then go ahead and do it and otherwise just build your island and enjoy the process of what you're doing and don't make the process any harder than it needs to be because you know this is your creativity this is your your place to shine right so yeah that's what i'm doing here enough for my ted talk of the day i am filling this area up with glowing moss i just think it's gonna look really good at night and hopefully that is correct yes i did get myself stuck on this cliff right here <laughs> um and i i actually ended up needing to get help off of the cliff no i didn't there was another cliff that i did need to get help off of and i can't remember which one it was now but i did have to call rescue services about two or three times i have this tendency of decorating myself into a corner and then when i decorate myself into a corner a lot of times there's water terraforming on the bottom because i don't can't seem to back myself into an area that you can ladder down and i end up calling uh rescue services to get me out of the situation that's a very common occurrence for me if you've ever done that let me know in the comments i would like to know i would like to know that i'm not alone you know like the raider institute I, oh gosh i just dated myself so you guys probably don't even remember what the raider institute was if you do a shout out to you it was one of those commercials where it's like the raider institute you're not alone which really cracked me up it was so funny so we're just gonna fill out this area on the pathway and that's all we have left of this build it's really not that much and again i'm just gonna fill it up the same way i did over there i am going to um replace all of the flowers with tulips i do want to maintain the aesthetic throughout this area and i want it to be the same as it was inside of the river mouth and um i think it came out good i do i'm really happy with this area i feel really um it makes me feel really happy and just this island in general i wasn't i didn't have big plans for it because i thought man this challenge is so challenging that it's probably not going to be the greatest thing i ever made but i was going to enjoy the process and i was going to have a lot of fun and that's really all that mattered to me and i did i had so much fun and i enjoyed the process oh so much it was great but i'm actually liking how it's turning out too even with limited items with limited diys with limited storage all of the things i'm loving this island it is so much fun so i'm using a combination of my codes and other people's codes and because it's a challenge island i did allow other people's custom codes because i i didn't want to have to make a whole set of custom codes which usually i will do for an island i'll just turn around and make all of the custom codes myself i didn't want to do that on this island so instead i went ahead and downloaded uh, quite a few custom codes from other people i decided to move that little tree because i thought it looked cuter in the front and i can never get out of those little squeezy spaces i don't know why they're really hard for me to find my way out of but we're using all of the leftover items from the build over there in this build right here and we are just about finishing up um i just have a one or two more things to place and then we are going to be done here um and i really really hope you enjoy the walkthrough of this thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate you so much i know you can be anywhere in the entire internet and you spent a little bit of your time here with me and i appreciate you so much for that i will see you guys in the next one bye